Today I will be showing you how to make these IKEA Calyx drawer inserts. So I am going to get started with the materials. You'll be needing five foam boards and I got these at the Dollar Tree. They are 20 inches by 30 inches and it's preferable if they don't have any grooves like these that uh, they should be smooth. And this is to make one drawer unit, one three drawer unit. Next, you'll also be needing a yardstick or a very long ruler. This one is 30 in, 36 inches long. You'll also be needing an X-Acto knife or a craft knife. I got this one at the Dollar Tree and it brings several blades. So that is perfect so that you could keep changing blades once they get dull because otherwise you're gonna have jagged edges. You'll be needing lots and lots of glue sticks and a high temperature glue gun. You'll need a pencil and an eraser. You will also need one of these, a carpenter square, and this will make your life so much easier because you're gonna be able to make very nice 90 degree angles or corners. I got this at the Dollar Tree, at the Dollar Tree in the hardware section for $1.25. For the main part of the unit, you're going to need three back pieces, which you can't see right here because they're like all the way in the back. You're gonna need four bottom pieces. That's this one, this one, this one, and this one. And you're going to need six side pieces. And that's this one, this one, this one, this, this, and this. For the drawers, you're going to need three bottom pieces, which are, is this one right here, and you're gonna need one per drawer. You're gonna need three back pieces, and that's this right here, one per drawer. Six side pieces, and that's this one and this one, and those are two per drawer. Then you're gonna have three front pieces, and that's this one right here, one per drawer. I am actually not, not going through to the bottom. I'm going to lift it up. Once I have that initial cut, I'm going to start going slowly. At first, I make shallow cuts. Once I score it, I start going deeper. And deeper you don't want to try to cut all of it at once you want to start slowly going deeper See? and there you have a perfect You're gonna need four bottom pieces that are 15 by 13 inches each. I will need three pieces that are four by 13 inches. You will also need six pieces, which are gonna be the side pieces, and these are gonna be four inches by 14 and seven eighths inches. For the drawers, you're gonna need three drawer bottom pieces, 11 and three quarters by 14 and three quarters. You will need three pieces for the back of the drawers. And these are three and a half inches by 11 and three quarters of an inch. You will also need six side pieces. And these are the side of the drawers these are going to measure three and a half inches by 14 and a quarter inches. And finally, you're going to need three front pieces and these are going to measure 
12 and a quarter inch by three and three quarters inches. I'm gonna start out with that main piece and I'm gonna grab one of the bottom pieces for that main and I'm gonna grab a back piece for it and now I am going to add a line of hot glue to that and this is a silicone hot glue and I am going to attach that that back piece to the bottom piece now I am going to grab the side piece because I'm gonna be using two of these one on each side and I'm gonna put hot glue all along the edge uh, the bottom and that back edge as well and I will attach that side piece to that edge make sure that everything is flush with each other and there's like no overhangs If you do have any overhangs as I did in this piece right here, this is the best time to cut that. And so make sure that you cut just the right amount. I had to cut a little bit off the top and then I had to cut a little bit off the side pieces to be flush with the bottom. And it is good to like cut now because otherwise it's going to be really hard so now everything is flush with each other and you're ready to start the second tier of this main piece so now you will add hot glue to that top edge of the first tier and after applying this hot glue you're going to attach that little roof over it <laughs> which is gonna be the bottom of the second tier now you have the first box from the bottom you're gonna start the second box so you're gonna put a back and you're gonna put some glue right there and then after you put the glue you're going to attach that back piece right there you're gonna let that dry make sure that it is in the back where it's closed and then you're gonna grab two side pieces and that's what the side piece looks like and you're going to be adding some hot glue to that bottom and then you're gonna attach that side piece As you can see, I have a little bit of an overhang. So I am going to be cutting off that little edge right there to have it flush with the rest of the front. And after cutting this, I am going to now attach the other side piece. And now it is ready for the top of the second heel, which is also the bottom of the third here and we're going to be adding glue all around that top be careful with that glue it's really hot it actually dripped on my leg and now i have a really bad burn <laughs> so yeah be careful with that glue so you're gonna attach that little roof which is gonna become now the bottom of the third tier so this is what it's looking like right now this is what we have going on here I'm gonna try it out make sure that it's fitting correctly and it does fit correctly so we still have to do this part here the last back piece that we have i'm gonna put it in the back 
So next we're gonna grab another one of those back pieces that are four by 13 and put it right here in the back. And then we're gonna put the sides here and another one here and we're done with this part. All right, so I got these pieces on and this is what it's looking like. And the final piece is another one of those bottom parts which is now on the top. So I'm gonna glue this and then I am done with this part and I'm going to go on to the next part which is making all the drawers. Whenever you press down, make sure that it's where it, there's support underneath. Don't ever press down in the center where it is unsupported because this is what happens. See, I pressed down right here and then it started bending and it leaves a mark. So try not to do that. If you need to make it all line up, you could push the one underneath. And once you push it a little bit, you press down on this edge right here. So this is my calyx unit right there, and I'm gonna stick it in there, and it fits perfectly. Now I'm making the drawers. So this is what the drawers are gonna look like. You saw this picture already. We're gonna start off with one of the bottoms. I am not going to grab one of the back pieces, and I'm gonna stick it to the back. Remember that the longest side is the side. The shortest is the front. Now we're gonna grab two side pieces and these are gonna go right here. So this is one of the front pieces and I'm gonna add that right here. All right, when I do this, I wanna make sure that I have it flush against the, the surface and that I have this flush here as well. I wanna make sure that it comes out the same amount on each side just because the front piece is a little bit longer than the drawer, the rest of the drawer. Before I continue to attach that, I am going to add a, some contact paper to the drawer front. And I got this at Walmart, but they also do sell it at the Dollar Tree. There's a lot to choose from at the Dollar Tree. And that's actually not the one that I used in the other ones that I showed at the beginning, but I will show what they look like with this one because I ended up making like a few drawer fronts before uh, deciding on a last one. And so this already has, it's like a sticker paper, so it already has glue on it. You just have to take off that uh, top part and then you just attach that to the drawer front. And then you're gonna go ahead and wrap it like if it was a gift, except that I don't wrap it all the way around. Like I don't do the back as well. I just do the front. So I peel off the backing and then what I'm gonna do is Put it good side down and expose that sticky back and stick that drawer front on top of that of that sticky side then I smooth it out now I'm cutting little corners like little squares in the corners and that is so that there's not a lot of bulk when I uh, fold it like so and then you're gonna turn this one in. And 
and here we have a door front. So you're gonna go ahead now, and you're gonna put it at the front, like this, like this, and then, and then stick it on like this. You're gonna need a pull, something to pull it with. Kind of like this. Now over here I used dowels. For this area I used dowels because that's what I had on hand and I wanted to have something that was like pretty. So that's what I used for right here. But you can use anything. You can use actual real pulls or you can use anything else you have lying around. You can use a pop socket, like one of these uh, holders for the phone, and you could use that. And this one actually comes with glue already, so you could just like stick it on. I have it on a mirror. <laughs> but this is how you could like kind of stick it on, right? And even like this Dollar Tree rope, you could even use something like this and kind of just stick that on and use that as a pull. On this particular drawer front with that marble front, I used a little rock from the garden section at Dollar Tree, but then I realized that hot glue doesn't stick very well to rocks. All right, so that's what it looked like when I used the little white rocks and that marble paper. But then I decided to change it up. I ended up using this wallpaper from the Dollar Tree and one paper is enough for two drawer fronts. As you can see in this picture, they have lots of uh, shelf liners that are sticky. They also have these right here that are for like the Cricut machines that could also work. They also have these uh, glitter papers that already have glue in the back as well. And here are more wallpaper ideas. So you could use any of those. And I decided to use this because uh, I like the design. And I love that it's already sticky so I don't have to be worrying about gluing it down and having bubbles. And so I am doing the same thing I did with the other marble one. It's like wrapping it up. This one's a little bit bigger so it covers a little bit more area and it's a little stiffer as well because it's wallpaper but it is the same idea um, you kind of wrap it up like a little present and that's it i feel like this wallpaper is even better than those shelf liners and yeah i recommend it it's more sturdy okay so then i decided to do different drawer fronts uh drawer pulls and so i'm using these knobs i got at walmart and they cost around ten dollars for a 10 pack and for one drawer unit you only need three i decided to spray paint them gold to match my drawer fronts uh wallpaper and so now i am now that it's dry i am gonna put glue on the back of it and I'm gonna stick that on the drawer front. What I like about these pulls is that they have more surface area on the bottom. Therefore, they come in contact with that surface a lot more than the little rocks because the little rocks fell right off as soon as I pulled them. But this can withstand a little bit more weight when you pull it because it has more contact with that surface and the glue and here we have the finished unit um, i made two units and if you don't use products from other stores just a dollar tree you should be able to make these units each of them for under ten dollars and that is a great price as you can see, I have put makeup inside this particular unit and that is as heavy as I would go with these drawers because, you know, they are made out of foam board. So it's not a very heavyweight material. So don't go putting any 
books or anything heavy like that because otherwise you're going to have a hard time opening and closing them. And that is it for this IKEA Calyx 3 drawer unit insert. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.